two approaches can be used to find code words in convolutional encoding process for a given convolutional encoder we can use either time domain approach or transform domain approach also we can find this code words or output of the encoder from state diagram trellis diagram and tree code tree diagrams so in time domain approach how we carry out this we have this statement basic conceptual statement convolution in time domain is same as multiplication in frequency domain so here we use convolution in time domain the encoder output is obtained by the convolution of the input sequence and impulse response of the encoder that is why you call this coding process as convolutional coding suppose let us consider 212 convolutional encoder it has two outputs and uh, the first generator function so this first generator function is uh, connected to first stage all the st stages of the encoder so this will be one this will be one this will be one the coefficients are tap gains so this will be one 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 so say second one this is one this is zero this is one the second generator is connected to uh, only first stage and the second stage of the as uh, the last stage of the encoder so here g1 and g2 here g1 and g2 they are known as generator sequences of the convolutional encoder this generator sequences are also known as impulse responses impulse responses of the encoder so here 101 1 means there is a connection and 0 means the corresponding flip flap is not connected to the function generator function generator means modulo to uh, adder below figure depicts rate of constant length to convolutional encoder find the encoder output in time domain approach for input bit string 11101 so this is the convolutional encoder of constant length to l is equal to 2 here m1 m2 the present state of the encoder msg holds the current message bit so here convolution in time domain suppose you input sequence uh, we convolve we apply the convolution of the input sequence with the generator sequence so he, here it is the g1 g1 is the generator sequence or impulse response of the output one and g of 2 will be the generator sequence or impulse response of the output two we apply convolution of input to sequence with the impulse response so these are the coefficients all the stages are connected to modulo 2 adder so this will be 1 and 1 1 these are the coefficients and uh, here the coefficients will be 1 because uh, this stage is not connected to modulo 2 adder this is 0 this will be 1 now we apply the uh, convolution in time domain to find the output of the encoder initially uh, the shift register will be in all 0 state msg m1 m2 will be 0 0 state the input to bit stream is given as 11101 the first incoming bit is 1 in step 1 the first message bit is 1 and the rest of the flip flaps are at 00 state after applying the first two clock pulse this one will be shifted here and this 0 will be shifted here this 0 will be shifted here and this 0 will be discarded so the state of the shift register will become 1000 so we apply basic rules of mod 2 addition so from this diagram we can say x1 will be modulo sum of mhg m1 m2 x2 will be modulo sum of mhg and m2 so using these equations we can find so this will be the msg 
and uh, this will be m1 and uh, this will be m2 so we find the output to x1 x2 by applying the xr basic xr operations so in step 2 the second input bit is 1 so the state will be reproduced here 1 0 0 0 incoming message bit is 1 so shifting right shift by 1 bit this 1 comes here this 1 comes here this 0 comes here this 0 will be distorted so the final state of the shift register will be 1 1 0 and we apply x1 x2 to get the output 0 1 here again in the second third of third input bit is 1 so again we apply the shifting to get the shifting of the bits by one bit shift right so we get the x1 x2 one zero output so in step 4 we get the output to the incoming bit is 0 we get the output to x1 x2 will be 0 1 in step 5 the incoming message bit is 1 we apply the shifting after we apply the clock pulse this one will be shifted here this 0 will be shifted here this one will be shifted here this one will be discarded so we will get the state of the shift register or sorry the dependence of the shift register will be 1 0 1 so the output will be x1 x2 1 0 so finally encoded output or code word will be given here if you want pdf files of my video lectures please visit www.engineerstutor.com for a pdf link see description of the video you can also write to me at rkgopal2020 at the rate of gmail.com for any doubts and queries